Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this lesson, I want to talk about short codes in Hugo. Now, short codes are basically just predefined chunks of HTML that you can insert into your markdown files. So in my case, I have inside the content folder just one markdown file called a.markdown, and I have some front matter and then just some you know general text. Let's say that I have this markdown file and I want to sort of spice it up and add in a custom HTML element, right? Let's say in my case, I want to add in a YouTube video. Now, normally to embed a YouTube video inside of a web page, you have to have some, you know, complicated uh, HTML code that you would just paste in here, right? It would be something like an iframe. Um, and if you have a, if, and if you're not inclined to work with HTML or you don't want to, you know, make your markdown file look really ugly, you can use a Hugo shortcode in order to add something like a YouTube video into your markdown file really easily. Hugo comes pre-equipped with a bunch of shortcodes by default. And, and so there's a bunch of different, you know, sort of predefined templates of HTML that do different things that you can just add in uh, just right off the bat. And you can also create your own Hugo shortcodes, which we're gonna talk about in a later video. But for now, I just wanna introduce what shortcodes are and how you can use them. So Hugo comes with a YouTube video shortcode predefined. And the way that I can insert that shortcode into my template is by typing in two open and close curly brackets and then a greater than or a less than sign and a greater than sign. And then inside here, I want to type in the shortcode name and then you can type in a parameter um, that you can pass into the shortcode. So in our case, we are going to use the YouTube shortcode and I want to pass in one parameter, which is going to be the ID of the YouTube video that I want to insert into my website. And so in my case, I am going to be using uh, this YouTube video, which just talks about creating a, a new Hugo site. I thought it'd be appropriate. And up here, I just want to copy and paste this YouTube ID. So the YouTube shortcode takes one argument, which is just the ID of the YouTube video. And so I'm gonna paste that guy into there and save the file. And so when you're dealing with a shortcode, instead of me having to um, copy a bunch of like iframe HTML code and paste it into this markdown file, instead, all I have to do is just put this line of code in here. And what this is gonna do when the Hugo site gets rendered, it's gonna say, okay, this person wants to add in a YouTube video. And so it's gonna go out to the YouTube shortcode that's defined by default uh, in Hugo. And it's gonna grab all the code for uh, you know inserting a YouTube video into a web page, And it's gonna take this parameter that we passed in and add it in. And then it's gonna render a YouTube video. And so instead of us having to type out all that code, we can just call the short code, which already has that code defined inside of it and we can pass in whatever uh, ID of a YouTube video we want and it'll display. And so, and so if we go over to our uh, website, you'll see that I'm here at this uh, a.markdown file and we have this YouTube video automatically added into our site. And so if I was to take this short code out and go back to the website, you'll notice that the video disappears, right? And so this short code alone is responsible for um, adding in this video to our site. So there's a bunch of different uh, predefined and pre-built shortcodes that you can use right off the bat in Hugo. And if you want to find out about all of those, just head over to the Hugo docs into the shortcodes page and it lists out all the ones that are available. In a later video, we're going to talk about defining your own custom shortcodes using what's called a shortcode template. But for now, just know that it's really easy to add in predefined HTML snippets into your markdown file by using a shortcode. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.